Dave, a, a brutal race out there today, mate. Just talk us through it and uh, talk us through your day. Um, yeah, well, c conditions for the race were absolutely ideal, but, um, you know, like any any Ironman, it's always a, just a long, bloody hard day, and um, that's what it was today for sure. Uh, talk us after Kona. You, you obviously you had that virus that, that kept you out of Kona. Talk us, you know, your preparation after that. It couldn't have been easy. Uh, no, I, I got a really nasty virus. Um, I've had a few blood tests since, and um, we're pretty sure it's like a mis it was a mosquito-borne sort of um, thing, and I was just absolutely knocked out for two weeks. And um, you know, uh, from Kona 2012. Um, up to Kona this year, I pretty much dedicated a year of my life uh, just to being right for that race. So uh, to get myself into great form and then um, miss out, miss out on competing just with a virus, I was really, really low and um, quite depressed. <laughs> Was there any lingering sort of effect? Uh, I don't think so. I think um, I just lost lost quite a bit of fitness because I had the two weeks off before Kona and then had another four weeks of just laying on the couch back at home and um, yeah, just pulled myself out of the dumps and got in a a couple of weeks of training just to um, to get ready for this race and get my Kona 2014 campaign uh, on the road. Can't be easy now. I mean, this whole this whole point structure and this whole need of getting points—it's it, certainly putting a lot of pressure on you as professionals to, to get your schedule a organised early and you know be fit and healthy for most of the year. Yeah. Um, yes and no. Uh, you know they have to do the selection somehow, and um, you know you got to remember I've come from the world of ITU where some guy does another first thing about triathlon, gets to decide who goes to the big show, but. Um, you know, at least with, with uh, Ironman, I know exactly what I have to do. I've got about 30 options uh, race-wise to do it. And, um, yeah, so I've, I've, a lot of people complain about the Hawaii selection, but um, I've really got no complaints about it. And um, if you miss out on Hawaii selection, I think you've only got yourself to blame. It's interesting if you, I mean, this whole Team TV thing, has that had any influence or impact on your preparation for this race or your mentality? Uh, not really. This is actually my last race for Team TBV, which is um, a bit sad. I, I just realised that when I was just up on the podium then. Um, had three or four great years with uh, Brett Sutton and um, TBB, but um, yeah, we've, we've, ha we've had our time together and it's come to an end. and. Um, Yes, start a next chapter um, from tomorrow, I suppose. And I, I suppose casting forward now, what's the goal? I mean, last year we saw you compete early in the year at Abu Dhabi. Is there a similar plan for next year? Uh, well, first things first, I, I won't get injured like I, I was last year. And um, I want to get qualified for Kona nice and early. So the plan is to do uh, this one, grab some points here to Auckland 70.3 and then I'm in Melbourne and hopefully I'll be uh, uh, secure my spot by then so then I can you know have a little break recharge the batteries and have a, a, a great run into Kona from there. I mean, it's interesting you mentioned not getting injured I mean did that really did throw your season out this year didn't it? I remember speaking to you after Abu Dhabi and you, you weren't feeling the best and then we didn't get to see you again until break. No it, Racing Abu Dhabi was a really, really stupid move by, be, by me. I had this uh, hip niggle and I, I made it even worse at Abu Dhabi. Then I was I skipped Melbourne, then I was stupid enough to race uh, Koh Samui, made it worse again. So, I, you know, it's my, my own fault. I um, dragged out uh, sort of a minor injury. Should have only been two months, so I dragged it out over, you know, five or six months. So I was behind the eight ball, but... Um, fitness-wise for Hawaii last year, but I eventually got myself into some really good form and um, September was just fantastic. I was doing some of the best sessions of my life and then, um, you know, missed out on doing the big dance because of uh, a virus, so that was just so disappointing, but um, yeah, it's behind me now and um, I'm uh, raring, raring to go for um, Kona 2014 now. You, mentally you seem uh, a much better place now and um, well, well, we look forward to seeing you A in Auckland and again in Melbourne next year and congratulations today. Thanks mate.